Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this breaking announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Hey, guys, what's going on? Alright, I know this has been a long time coming, but today I am finally here with the first game of my um, Florida Gulf Coast Dynasty mode. We open the season on the road at number 17, Baylor. So this could be interesting. Anyway, hello and welcome to Floyd Casey Stadium in Waco, Texas. For a season opening matchup between the number 17 Baylor Bears and the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles. Florida Gulf Coast is in their first year of having a football team. And they're hoping to maybe do decently in their conference. But this game should really be a blowout, let's be honest. Keenan kicks it off. It'll be taken by Martin from his own goal line. And Martin breaks a tackle. Martin's to the outside. Glasgow Martin with a 60-yard return. And Baylor's going to have the ball at the 40 of Florida Gulf Coast before they even play an offensive snap. So, yeah. Blowout city today, boys. Petty the give to Seastrunk, and Seastrunk is litten up for a two-yard loss. Marlon Downs on the stop. Uh. Now, to be honest, I have no idea how good anyone is on this team. So, we'll see whether they're good at zone or what. And Bryce Petty will throw it away. It'll be third and 12 for Baylor. From the 42 of Florida Gulf Coast. Third down, 12 to go for the Baylor Bears on this first drive of the game. Petty takes a snap. It's set, hit as he throws. It's a wide open Coleman. And 15 more yards. It's either roughing the pass or a face mask. It'll be a face mask. That is on Tremaine Thorn on Tremaine Thornton. Hey, I had the alternate uniforms open, Bub. Why are you giving us our home uniforms? Boo, I wanted the gray unis, man. Alright, so this game is glitched. Petty, the give to Seastrunk. He's got seven yards down to the one. The Shea sees drunk with two rushes for five yards. And it's second and goal from the one. We'll see how much longer this defense can hold out. I give it maybe this play. Nope. Touchdown, sees drunk. And just like that, Baylor takes the lead. 344 to go, first quarter. Baylor... Set to go up 7-0. to zero. We've got a studio update. And South Carolina, number 3 South Carolina, beats North Carolina 34-27. to 27. Elsewhere, Utah State beats Utah. And Vanderbilt upsets Ole Miss 20-17. Well, I doubt this will be an upset for the Eagles in their very first ever collegiate football game. But we'll see if maybe a couple years down the road they can be competitive. Golden will return for 17 yards out to the 15. And out comes this Florida Gulf Coast offense for their first drive of this game. On the read option, it's Comer. And Brett Comer with a gain of three. Here we go. Second down, seven to go. Yeah, good fun. Throws underneath. Caught by Chase Feeler. Gain of four. 
Brings up a third and three. Here we go. It's third and three. They want a man on the... What are you doing? You just lost five yards. You ran around backwards. Hey, YOLO. All right, it's fourth and eight. They say go for it. It's just like YOLO. Throws it up. Intercepted by Dixon. Oh, well. All right, that was maybe questionable, but I don't care. You got to go big or go home when you're a terrible little Florida Gulf Coast and you're playing at Baylor. Boy, about five years ago, you would have never thought someone would say that. Anyway, C. Strunk takes it for a gain of nine. And just like that, Baylor's got it second and one at the 14 of Florida Gulf Coast. Oh, this is this is not going to be a pretty game. Petty, they give to Seastrunk. He's into the end zone from 14 yards out. Yeah, that happened. Ridgeway, the kick is up and good. And Baylor leads 14 to 0 just like 4 minutes into the game. All right, our goal is two touchdowns. Fear, he's got some blockers. He's out across the 40. It's a foot race. He's chased Fear a return of 80 yards. And Florida Gulf Coast will start at the 25 of Baylor. Look out, that's really good field position. We'll see if they can cash in with any sort of points. Joe Langston with a gain of one. Oh yeah, that's just amazing. Alright, it's second and nine from the 24. Throws underneath, caught by Manning. MJ Manning with a gain of four. It's third and five. Yeah. Comer's three for four for three yards and an interception. Oh, wow. Throws underneath. Caught by Feeler. That's a gain of 13, and it's first and goal for the Eagles. Ball on the seven. Here we go. From the seven, it's first and goal, Florida Gulf Coast. And he just lost five yards. All right, find a new running back ASAP is what you're saying. Gotcha. Throws underneath, caught by Ferris. Isaac Ferris with a gain of 10. He's down at the 1. Here yo. Should be the last play of the first quarter. They give Booker Cozy with a 1-yard run. And with 1 second to go in the first, Florida Gulf Coast has scored a touchdown. Went 25 yards in six plays in about a minute. It's 14-7 Baylor. Don't think for a second this is going to change anything, though. I fully expect Baylor to run away with this. Taken by Martin out of his own end zone. Glasgow Martin, a return of 28. As we take a look at our offense at a glance, eh, not much difference. Only 29 more yards for Baylor and 7 more points. But at the end of one, the number 17 Bears only lead Florida Gulf Coast 14-7. Here we go. 
We're set to begin the second quarter of play. Baylor has it out about their own 25, I'd say. C. Strunk with the carry. He's only got one. Six rushes for 30 yards and two touchdowns. Look out, it's the Shea C. Strunk, everybody. Second down, nine to go. Petty takes a snap, throws underneath. Najvar with a gain of 20. 20. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's not Najvar. Oh, well, I don't know what else it would be. Navar? No. I'm calling him Najvar. And if I'm wrong, Baylor fans can yell at me in the comments sections. Pennington takes the Shea C. Strunk down, but he still gets five. Just kidding, everybody. He didn't really make a good play. He just tackled them before he could get like 50 yards and a touchdown. Petty takes a snap, throws underneath to Norwood. Levi Norwood, a gain of four. It's third and one. Petty is three for four for 50 yards. Baylor is one for one on third down so far today. We'll see if they can get this from the 45 of Florida Gulf Coast. Petty is stood up. Bryce Petty gets met by Jose Lambert. Oh, I have no doubt you're going to go for it. I mean, I would go for it. It's fourth and one. Petty on the read option. He's got the first down and then some. Schaefer takes Petty down after a gain of 10. Uh, first down, Baylor. They've got it at the 35 of Florida Gulf Coast. We fooled you for just a second into thinking we would make a stop. C. Strunk with a gain of 3. Petty, or C. Strunk, 8 rushes, 38 yards, 2 touchdowns. Second and seven for Baylor. They're probably in field goal range, I would say. Under 2.40 to go, third or second quarter. C. Strunk just lost three. Sean Rawls with the tackle for a loss. C. Strunk, nine rushes, 39 yards, two touchdowns. Baylor is one for two on third down. We'll see if they can get this one. Petty throwing deep, knocked away at in the end zone. And I would assume they would try a field goal. They've gone 38 yards in nine plays. Set to try a long field goal, though. The kick is up, and it's good. That was a pretty nice kick there. It's... It had some distance on it for sure. Baylor 17, Florida Gulf Coast 7, 2.10 to go until halftime. Maybe if Florida Gulf Coast can score here, they can make it a game. Fuhrer's got the edge. Fuhrer out across the 40, a return of 43. That's his second big kick return on the day. 2.04 to go, three timeouts. For Florida Gulf Coast to go 60 or 59 yards. Langston cuts up field. Joe Langston with a gain of seven. It'll be second and three. Here we go. A snap by Comer. Throws underneath. Caught by Fielder for a gain of 23. He's brought, He's got three catches for 40 yards. And Florida Gulf Coast has it at the 29 of Baylor. Still 130 to go until halftime. This is... They may make a game of this yet, folks. Throwing underneath has a man. 
It's early Brit gain of 20, and it's first and goal for Florida Gulf Coast. Look out. Comer, 7 for 8, 69 yards, and that pick on fourth down. And what can you do? Langston running into a bunch of defenders. He lost a yard. K.J. Morton was the first guy to meet him. Second and goal. Throwing underneath. Caught by Manning. M.J. Manning is down at the six. And Florida Gulf Coast will take its first time out. It's got a third and goal from the four. They are in field goal range. That's all they can ask for. Throws underneath. Caught by Feeler. It's a four-yard touchdown. Comer 9 for 10, 79 yards, a touchdown and an interception. But look at that. Feeler just jumps up there and comes down with that. What a play. They go 58 yards and six plays in about a minute. Studio update, guys. Arkansas leading Louisiana Lafayette 14-13 with 1.23 to go until half. I believe Florida Gulf Coast is in the Sun Belt, and that's why they're showing us that. I don't remember, though. I guess we'll find out <laughs> as the season goes on. Seastrunk takes it out of his own end zone. A 25-yard return for Seastrunk. They've got it at the 22, their own 22, and 38 seconds and three timeouts to go 78 yards. Petty tries to scramble. He gets hit and taken down, loss of three. It'll be second and 13. Florida Gulf Coast will get the ball to start the third quarter. So they're content to let the clock run out. If ba It gives Baylor less of a chance. But they're going to snap it. Throws it up. Caught by Reese for a gain of 12, but the clock hit zero at halftime. Baylor might be on upset alert at home. They lead Florida Gulf Coast 17-14. to And Florida Gulf Coast will get the ball to restart this third quarter. They will kick it away from... Yeah, smart move. Golden has it out across the 20. Sean Golden a return of 28. They got burned twice by Feeler, so they'll kick it to the other return man. Here you go. They give to Langston, who's got a gain of three. And you can feel that Florida Gulf Coast might be thinking, hey, maybe, just maybe, if we can get a stop and keep scoring, we might pull off an upset. But it'll be third and eight. Maybe not. Ha 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 ha. Oh dear. Third and eight. I'm quite certain Florida Gulf Coast would appreciate a first down. Throws it deep. Got a man, it's Feeler inside the 15. A 60-yard pass to Chase Feeler, and Brett Comer has 139 yards and a touchdown on the day. Look out, the, oh no, sorry, they're inside the 20, not the 15. First down from the 17 of Baylor. And boy, did they need that. This crowd has gone quiet. Langston... Fighting forward, a gain of four. Seven rushes for nine yards for Joe Langston. This defense has 
taking him out. Here we go, it's second and six. 3.30 to go in the third quarter. Langston rumbles ahead, gain of three. It will be third and two. You gotta think they, they're gonna try and play it careful. Don't want to turn it over and get no points. They give to Clark, and Demario Clark with a gain of three. It'll be first and goal. Lotto move the chains. Look out. Florida Gulf Coast knocking on the door, trying to take a lead here in Floyd Casey Stadium. Clark rumbles ahead, gain of three. It'll be second and goal. Ball on the three. And they're just going to be content to run it up the middle, I think. Langston gets one yard. It'll be third and goal from the two. And you almost have to wonder if they go for it if they don't get it here. Langston gets stuffed. He lost a yard. Fourth and goal. What are they going to do? They will come on to attempt a field goal. The kick. He missed it. Oh, no. Baylor takes over at the 20. They should have just gone for it. Couple more yards out and that goes in. That ball is intercepted. Oliver jumps up for it and Bryce Petty has thrown an interception. So right after Florida Gulf Coast misses a field goal, they'll turn over this defense will turn over the Baylor offense. Langston runs it up the middle for gain of one. It's second and nine. Eleven rushes for thirteen yards for Joe Langston. Yeah, that's a great day for you. Terrence Lloyd was a man who brought him down. That missed field goal though. Langston, gain of one, third and eight. What is Florida Gulf Coast going to do? Five for seven on third downs. That's nice. Hit as he throws. Langston, again, a three. They might be in no man's land, though. Fourth and five from the 44. They could try a 61 yarder. Comer. He's only thrown one in completion, and that was an interception on a fourth down on their first drive of the game. He gets set to throw it again, and it's another interception by Howard. But that'll work just as well as a punt. Pins him deep. Although it will add another interception to Comer's stats. That was probably just as good as any punt. They have it at their own nine. So really no harm done. They were too close to be able to easily punt it. But this defense just gave up big yards to the quarterback. Oh, how embarrassing for you. Bryce Petty, four rushes for 56 yards. And he got hit in the backfield, too. That's embarrassing, man. You're going to let your quarterback go destroying on you? That brings us to the end of the third, though. Baylor with the ball. They are driving up three on Florida Gulf Coast. 17-14, please come on back. Here we go, first and ten. 
from the 42 of Florida Gulf Coast. They actually haven't given up a ton of points. Petty throws on the throws a screen. Uh, but it doesn't matter. They're getting another 15 yards. And that should basically seal the deal. 15 yards gives them first down at like the 10. It's roughing the passer on Nathan Rush. They've got it at the 14. Unless this defense can force a turnover, I think that's ball game. Because two scores, a two score game with like 4.30 to go. It's probably a little bit too much to ask this offense. If only they could have hit Petty and not let him run for like 50 yards. See Strunk again of five. I mean, they had him hit in the backfield, and they just let him go. Let him off the hook. Baylor 17... That missed field goal could most definitely loom large. Petty set to take off. He's into the end zone from eight yards out. And Baylor looking like it'll hold on, barring a huge comeback. Oh, well, Florida Gulf Coast played well. I don't think anyone expected them to be down 10 in the fourth quarter with four minutes left. They played pretty well, only being out yarded by 14 yards. Here you go, feel a chance to get one last big return, but he's, well, he'll add on 15 because he got tackled by his face mask. If Florida Gulf Coast can get a very quick strike, they might not be dead, but that's kind of a stretch task because then they're going to need to get a stop on defense. They'll start out their own 30, 70 yards from the end zone. And boy, how much does that missed field goal hurt. Langston again at two. They should have just gone for it. Oh well, hindsight's always 20-20. But if they can do this, imagine how well they'll be in that dinky little sun belt. Throws underneath, caught by Sean Golden. And that's a gain of 11. It's Golden's first catch on the day. Eh. Might this Florida Gulf Coast offense give itself a chance? Langston running free. He's got a first down into Baylor territory. 11-yard run. But I feel like they're probably taking too much time. They are out first downing Baylor. Here we go. Under three and a half to go. Not officially out of it yet, but that'll do it. The third interception of the day. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. He had to make something happen. Here we go. Petty brought down for a loss. Still too late. That missed field goal killed them because then they had to hurry it up and it led to two more turnovers. Well, Florida Gulf Coastal falls short in their upset bid, but they played well. I like their chances of making a bowl game this year. Because I think they can destroy the Sun Belt. Maybe it'll be time to move up to the American Athletic Conference next year. Because that's the weakest of the power conferences. Although it might not even be considered a power conference anymore. It'll be under two minutes to go by the time this ball is snapped. Petty throws underneath and that'll do it. Levi Norwood again at 12. Timeouts being called. Florida Gulf Coast. Hey, we got our goal of 14. 
We'll see if we can maybe save ourselves enough time, get a stop, and give us a chance to get a little more points. See Strunk bouncing off tackles. It'll be second and three. And Baylor is going to be content to just run out the clock. If they can get a first. See Strunk, yep, he's got a first down. And Baylor is going to win 24-14. Bouncing off tackle, C Strunk again a four. If they can get them to third down, I guess they might as well call their final timeout. But it won't matter. I think they can still run out the clock. C Strunk with the first, and Florida Gulf Coast is out of timeouts. These Eagles played well for their first game being on the road at Baylor. And they'll just take a knee, and that'll end this game. Baylor, uh, two fourth quarter interceptions ultimately dooms them, or ultimately doom the Eagles. But they hung with them for a while and gave the Bears a scare. Nothing to be ashamed of. Final score, Baylor 24, Florida Gulf Coast 14. And that'll do it for me. I am signing out. See you next time, everybody.